in this video I will show you how to insert a driver for mob bus communication in your project. So in your project we have one category here, one folder. The name is drivers and OPC. So we can insert a driver here by inserting our driver and we can make a new file and we will call this file our logic. This is the name of the device we are going to use. A1212 Modbus. So I create a file to insert the driver inside so I can reuse in other projects. Our logic underscore E1212 underscore Modbus. So this file is a PRG file and inside I will have my driver. So I need to choose the file modbus.drl. This is a, my setting interface for the Modicon Modbus driver. So here I remove every line and I will start to configure each tab one by one. So we will come back later for operation, but first we go to Modbus. I want to set one connection. The Modbus mode is Modbus TCP. So in setup, I need to choose the physical layer to Ethernet. Okay. Then also, if I want, I can log the communication and data, the log file is in C, so I can define the other name. And in serial, I don't need because I choose my bus TCP and physical layer is internet. So I don't need to set up serial. I can go to Ethernet. And here in Ethernet, I can choose TCP IP. And here I will write the IP of my device. And the port by default the port is 502 for the Modbus communication in my case I have customized setting is 104 Modbus, modem we don't have to fill up anything and same for the last tab only for internet Modbus Modbus TCP and here back to operation we have to fill up the operation we want to operate our device, to read the data from our device. So this device, our logic 1212, has 8 DI and 8 TO. So we have, we need one line, one operation line for DI and one operation line for DO. So how to get the information to know which kind of setting I want to apply for reading and writing? So I need two documents. The first one, of course, is the documentation of my device. So this documentation you can download from internet or it maybe is given from your supplier. So this device, our logic 1200 series, I go to the Modbus mapping of my device. So now I have found the device here. So actually in page 47, I have the Modbus TCP default address mapping. And more specifically, I am very interesting to know for the DO, what is the address for the DO and what is the address for the DI. So here I have my channel for the DO communication. And if I check carefully, here I have the DO value here. This is a DO value. So I have to check the address. And this address, all address start with 0. So the type is 0x666. So this is for the read and write coin. 
So this for DO. For DI, the high value here, the address starts with 1. So the read only is 1x66. So I only have to remember read and write, read only coil is 1x. And for DO is 0x. So I need to keep in mind this information. And I need to check other document, which is the Modbus Bodycom driver. This is documentation for a driver I'm using in Ellipse. And more specifically, I need to check here table 1 read function of the Modbus protocol. Here, for 1x, this is only read. The option is 2. And here, read code, then I also can write in this mode, is 1. So, I can go back to my history and here I can make the first line add and choose operation 1 is my first operation and I will choose read is 2 this is read only I will read bit press ok so this is my line for di so let's try here just after I press ok I can choose also some tag from the IO kit. IO kit provides several tags to uh, know the status of the communication, the Modbus communication. So actually here we have every parameter of our Modbus communication protocol settings. So now I can insert one hour block and this hour block will be for the DI. And in my DI, I have eight input. And here I need to fill up the information, only the first line information for the P1 and 1, P2 and 2, and P3 and 3, and P4 and 4. So the first column, P1 and 1, will be 1. We are using TCP communication, and device ID is the P2 and 2 is our operation. So this number in P2 and 2 is the same number as we are here, operation number. So now for DI, operation number is 1. So I will just put 1 here. And in P4 and 4 is the first address of the block. So here in my case, if I go to Modbus, the data address model offset is from 1. So I can use this offset currently to set the value here is 1. And then when it's finished, I can save and I can run. And if the line is blue, it means that the communication is working. So now we have some input already to 1. OK, so for the DO, I need to go back to my driver setting and I need to add one more line for DO. So again, I need to check here for the DO. We saw in the documentation that the DO need read call status is 0, 0, 0, 0x. All the address for the DO start with 0. So the operation, the option is 1. So I need to add one more line and here. I choose 1. So here, if I choose 1, and I press OK, I have a one more line, and the operation number is 2. OK? But the function here changed to 1. So this first line is for DI, and the second line is for DO. And I press OK. I deactivate the communication and I can add one more block. And this one will be DO. This block will also have eight output. And here, press one also. Here, this number value is the value I have on my second line, is operation, so it's two. So I press two. And here also, write one, since that 
you have data at address from one and I save and then I activate the communication and now we have our di and our do if I want to make a link of screen so I activate the communication I go to my screen I can easily link the data so I put a to display and this one here I will link the value I go to my driver one the I value and this one it connects to the value 2 so after run I have my information on screen directly read from the driver so this is how we insert the driver into a project. We can use this tag and link to our interface in screen. It's also possible to insert the driver into the X object.